What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Reggie Bryant, and I help people achieve their financial goals in today's economy. Today, we're going to jump straight into the video topic, which is how to open a Roth IRA. So the first step is getting to know the rules. And once you know the rules, it then becomes pretty simple opening a Roth IRA. So to get started, here's a few basic rules. As of this year, which is 2024, you can contribute up to $7,000 per year. That's if you're under 50 years old. Now, if you're 50 or over, you can contribute $8,000. But that's only true if you make under $146,000 a year as a single person or if you make under $230,000 as a married couple. And this is your gross income, by the way. So most people fall within that range. But just in case someone watching this doesn't and they're way over that range, there's a few things to keep in mind. Just because you're a single person making over $146,000, that doesn't mean you can't put any money in your Roth IRA, but you're going to be in this thing called a phase-out range. So uh, the phase-out range for single people is going to be between, I'm looking down at my notes, so if I look down, that's why, but it's between $146,000 all the way to $161,000. That's your phase-out range, and all phase-out means is the more you make, within that range, the less money you can put into your Roth IRA. Now, once you get past $161,000, that's it for you. You can't put any more money in. And as for a married couple, your phase out range is gonna be between $230,000 and $240,000. And the same is true for that. When you're in between that range, that just means that's the less money you can put in. You won't be able to put in that $7,000. But once you go beyond $240,000, you can't put anything in your Roth IRA. And another thing I forgot to mention about Roth IRAs is there's no age limit. So anybody at any age can contribute to a Roth IRA. So you can start one for your child if you want to. It doesn't matter how old or how young you are. You can start it pretty much any time. The only thing is you have to have some kind of income. So now that you know all that, you'll know if you're eligible or not. And most people are going to fall into the eligible category. So we're going to keep on going. Your next step is going to be to pick a broker. There's a ton out there. I'm not going to give any particular recommendations, but I will tell you that the one that I use is M1 Finance, but there's a ton of them. The reason I chose M1 Finance is purely because I just really like the layout of it. And it's like a nice little pie chart and it shows you the percentage of everything you invested in. I just really like the user-friendly layout. That's literally the main reason I'm using them for my Roth IRA, but you can use Weeble, you can use Robinhood, you can use Vanguard, Fidelity, Charles Schwab. There's a lot out there, do your own research. If you do want to go with M1 Finance, I do have a link in the description to where you can just download it, you'll get something to go towards your initial investment of your Roth IRA if you do go through my link. And once you pick a broker, you sign up, you fill out all the personal information, how much you make a year, bank account information, of course. It's a pretty quick process, but you do just have to fill out some personal information, you know, the type of stuff you wouldn't want to share with the internet. But that's, that's literally how you do it. It's a pretty quick process from there. Now, setting it up is the easy part, so to speak. But the investing part is where it's a little tricky, especially if, if you don't have experience investing. It's going to be like, well, what what do I put my money in? I don't just want to put all my money into this tax advantaged account and then lose it all because I'm making the wrong investment decision. So I do have a video specifically for that. It's called How to Invest Your First $1,000. It actually recommends that you start with your first $1,000 in something like a Roth IRA and you make smart investments. But for the sake of this video, since you have taken the time to click on this video and hear me out as long as you have, I will give a quick guide. You don't want to necessarily go for individual stocks yet. If you're a beginner, you just want to look at bigger things. So you want to look at stuff like ETFs, uh, specifically broad-based ETFs. And the two that I'm invested in right now are VOO and VTI, and I don't plan on changing that. But VTI has like 2,000 plus companies inside of it, and they're the best companies in America. And then VOO has 500 plus U.S. companies that are very, very big companies. And, and VOO has the large cap companies, you know, McDonald's, Apple, Microsoft. And VTI has large cap companies, mid cap and small cap companies. So what I'm saying is it's so diversified, but I've only chose two investments and it has and they both have very good growth rates. 
So even just investing in those couple of things right there, this is not a recommendation. Do your own research. But even investing in those two, your Roth IRA would probably outperform your 401k and any other investment that you've ever been in long term. And they both have very little downside. But I do have other videos going over ETFs and indexes and how to invest. I'll link those all in the description and I'll also have some pop up at the top of this video here. But the main video I think you should watch if you want to understand how to do your research when it comes to what to invest in in a Roth IRA and see what's actually inside of these ETFs. Because there's a reason I know what's inside of the ETFs. I know how to look them up. I show you how to do that in that video. And I think it'll be very valuable for you, a very good use of your time. And by the way, my Roth IRA is currently up 47% right now, which I go over in my wealth journey videos if you want to tune into those. But a, a big thing I will tell you is keep it simple when it comes to your Roth IRA. Keep it nice and to the point, very strong investments, but you don't need to fill it up with like 20 plus different types of things thinking you're going to outperform Warren Buffett and be up 3,000% in a year. It's just... Just keep it simple. You need a nice steady return when it comes to this. And as you probably know, this is a tax advantaged account. So all your money that goes in has already been taxed. So that means when it's time for you to retire, when you take your money out, it will not be taxed. So you want it to grow as steady as possible. And it will do so pretty much exponentially over the years. And you'll quickly see how $7,000 a year can literally turn into millions of dollars by the time it's time for you to retire, especially if you start early. Like when I have kids, I'm opening up a Roth IRA for them and they're going to be about rich by the time they're young adults. And I wish I would have started off early. And another thing I wish I would have done, and I'm actually about to talk about this right now, this is the final step, is I wish I would have taken my contribution more seriously early on. I pretty much figured since I was pretty young when I started my Roth IRA, I think I was like 25 years old, I'm 28 now, I should have started like at 21, but that's besides the point. When I was 25, I figured I'm young, I can just put a little here and there, and I didn't have a consistent amount of money I was putting in every month. Like maybe two months would go by and I would put $200 in there. Another two months would go by, I would put $100 in there. Another two months would go by, I would put $600. It was very inconsistent. Nowadays, I put $500 a month in their minimum. And when I get extra money, whether it's from YouTube or a bonus at work or a raise at work or a promotion or whatever the case may be, that's when I put that extra money towards my Roth IRA because the goal is to max it out every single year. But I'm not going to rush to max it out. I'm just going to do it little by little. And then when those big things come. They come every year where I get a big bonus or YouTube pays out big or I get a bunch of book sales for a month. I do have a book if you have not checked it out yet. It's called The Wealth Journey. Definitely, definitely check it out. I think it can help you out a lot financially because these are the things that I learned throughout the years. But anyway, having those income streams helps and it helps me save more and in turn invest more. So what I'm saying is come up with a, a minimum amount per month that you want to put into your Roth IRA. And I promise you, you will be astonished by how much it grows as long as you actually really pay attention to what you're investing in. And again, my videos and my book, and I have an investing course too. But those things can help you. Even if you don't get into all of those things, just listen and really look and analyze at what you're investing in. It will pay off. Even if you're doing 100 a month, you don't have to max it out. Like you, the same way you don't have to max out your 401k, you don't have to max out your Roth IRA. You don't have to put $7,000 in there. That's just most people, like 90% of people can go, can get away with putting $7,000 in there based on the rules alone. But that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be able to afford to do so. You're just allowed to put $7,000 in there. So even if you put $1,000 or $500 per year, it's more than nothing. And that money is just going to grow and grow over the years, just like your 401k. You might only put two, three, four hundred dollars in there per paycheck. But as the year goes on and your company adds on top of it, now you look up and you're make, you have more in your 401k than you make in a year. Like that type of stuff is the power of investing. So hopefully that helped and make sure when you're coming up with that number, make sure it's the number that you're comfortable with. And 
as you've done that for a while, then you can start to add a little more if, if you want to or if you're able to. And that is going to help your net worth increase. Uh, stay tuned for next week because I am going to have a net worth update and you'll see how all of this comes together. Because I don't just talk about this stuff every week on my channel, like for no reason, just because it sounds good or I read it in a book, like I've actually applied these things to my life. And there's some mistakes that I make along the way that I want you to see. So I, like there's proof that it was a mistake. Like this is the mistake I made. Here's why it was a mistake. And this is what I'm doing to fix it as opposed to learning from someone else's wisdom in a book or in a movie or something like I'm, I'm just tell or a documentary or something. I'm just telling you that it's the little things that add up. Most people, if they are going to become wealthy or rich, it's going to be over a long period of time. It's called getting rich slow, just like Warren Buffett, little by little. And then boom an explosion happens where you're getting 20%, 20%, 100%, 20%, 20%, 10%, 5%, 0%. Like it's going to fluctuate is what I'm getting at. Those may those may be inflated or deflated percentages, but it's an example of what life looks like when you're investing. You never really know what's going to happen or how the economy is going to affect the stock market and this, that, and the third. But I do want to thank you for watching this video. I'm very passionate about investing. So as I continue to learn, as I continue to build my net worth, I want you to tag along in the journey. So stay tuned for the Wealth Journey series. Episode two will be out next week to go over my full net worth, how I spend, how I save, and how I invest and all that good stuff. So check it out. And episode two and three will probably be pretty close to each other. So like episode two will probably be on Wednesday and then episode three will probably be on the following Monday. Either way, check them out. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate it and I will see you in the next one.